from one point to another to pick and place typical is pick and place with high speed, uh, high speed. and then then we 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 can uh, study for each each uh, robot what is the um, the structure that we want to to improve um, to to determine uh, what is the, the the real workspace of the robot. If we look at the industrial robots, articulated robots, of course, also we can see when we change the movement, for instance, to reach this position or to reach the other position, what are the what is the configuration of the robot? Because uh, this is the limitation. Of course, we can move the robot and reach over here, but this is the limitation of the, the movement uh, of the of the robot. Okay, and then we can maximize the the workspace. For instance, if we increase one dimension in one link, also the the companies provide these kind of facilities, and we can increase the the workspace. Uh, also, when we are determining the robot, yesterday they didn't make that, we know also for each position in the workspace what is the limit of the, the, the load that we can support. Yesterday we saw a big robot in a company um, that can handle more than 1,000 kilos. And, uh, Depending on the position, we can reduce the size of the robot because, for, ins for instance, this one, for this position here, okay, we can support this uh, weight. And with different um, uh, workspace or different robots, we have uh, uh, also um, complicated shapes for, for the, depending on the task that we, we want to perform. Okay? Uh, also, uh, this is the reachable, uh, usable uh, uh, workspace for the robot. Uh, typical, what we want is to, to move from one position to another. Okay? Then we do the, the limitation of the accessible workspace for doing some tasks. Uh, also, if we look at the envelope for, like I explained before, if we consider different links, this link different from this one, also when we move, the, the limitation, this is like a donut. It can because the second, the second link is small, and this is the, the limitation of the, the position of the end effect of the robot. Anyway, we can move the first link, through the workspace uh, easily, and all these points here are near the singularities. Okay. When we try to move our uh, arm, this is the singularity, okay? Because it's the, the uh, maximum e effort that we are doing to reach this position, okay? This is the reachable position, and this is uh, here is we cannot reach, inside also we cannot reach. Uh, well, when we have this kind of uh, industrial robots, we can put the, we can mount the robot as a right or left shoulder, or up and down, okay? There are different forms uh, for the, to the position of the robot. Also, we can put uh, some linear axis to move the robot. Okay, this is lateral. This is in, uh, uh, in, the, in the in the base of the robot. We can also put uh, some rotary or linear axis in in a specific position, or we can put some rotational axis in the arm to do some task. Okay. Well, the robot is everything that we see in this, in this diagram. What we have is the mechanical structure over there, 
we have the power models and also the, the peripheral device that can control the robot. And they are both in communication and then this information comes to the motion control and also other boards that we have in the control unit. Both, both are communicated with the terminal and also with the industrial computer. And everything is integrated to control the robot. And what is the controller? The controller is the communication and information processing device that we want to initiate and terminate and coordinate the motion and sequences. As we can see here, what we have is the, the robot with the position and also with the force. And what we are going to obtain is the force feedback if we are uh, doing some force with the object. And this is the reference of the force and this is the reference of the position. And the, the error between the reference and the feedback force or the position and the, the, the error of the position will going to uh, give a signal for the position control and force control and both, both of them they will going to be a part of the signal to move the robot. If we are, uh, if we increase the error of position, we're trying to correct the position. And if we are increasing the error of the force, we are trying to correct the, this error. And this is what we call the hybrid. Uh, both position and force contribute to control the, the, the the um, position and force of the robot. And this model, this model over here, what we have is the impedant uh, control. Uh, it's quite different because we receive the reference of the force, okay? And also this is the contact force that we are providing to the robot. And after we have the feedback force, we have the algorithm to provide the, the necessary uh, position and angles of the robots or torques to do something. And we are, we are going to create a virtual position. And this, is, this virtual position, the output of the algorithm of the impedance controller, give a, a, a virtual position and with the reference position, the joint uh, position, the Cartesian position of the robot, and also the virtual position, all of them will going to be the input of the position controller because all of them are giving the position reference, the output of the robot, the real position of the robot, and also the, the position, that the virtual position that is the, the result of the force controller. Okay? And with, with both of this information, we can also control the position and force. Of course, to do this, we need a, a, a processor. The processor is, is the brain of the, the robot. It's going to be faster enough to process everything and also to compile the robot language, do the trajectory generation, control the, the arm. Everything could be, must be uh, faster to develop this kind of, uh, and correct this kind of errors. The software, um, depending, <coughs> depending on the robot, for instance, the ADV robot you have one over there. Uh, we have also, they use the rapid uh, program. Uh, I don't know if you have a DCAP a robot software. Uh, uh, I, I at least don't have any. Yeah, but it's, it's nice for the students because it's simple mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the students can start with this kind of software, this open source software, and then they can change the, the, the robot and when they change, put the, for instance, a ADV or a Cook or a Yashkava, they can easily see that the code of each robot will going to change. Mm -hmm. And they will going to see the syntax for each one, and they were going to understand better what is why they, they do the this kind of software. 
and it is a, a decouple. Yeah, because yes. we have. You, you have. Uh, we have it, but I, I just don't have too much experience. Yeah, but it. anyway, okay. it's it, Marcus. You, you, you need to to try it. It's quite yeah. nice because we can use we can use simple and actual software and trying to interconnect with the uh, old softwares like this one. Because anyway, we, this we is. Cooperation with uh, secondary schools and they mm -hmm. have a dancing with the robots yeah. uh, competition. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I think they are using this. Yeah, yes, uh, they, they, young people, we, we, we must change also. <laughs> and young people like this kind of software. Anyway, this is the, the software, this the operating system. Uh, it's like in the computer. Uh, we need uh, also the, the so software to uh, control the robot. We need software to obtain information from the cameras, from uh, other sensors. We, we must communicate with PLCs and everything will going to be in the controller of the robot. Anyway, to, shape, to, to choose and identify uh, uh, robots in the companies, uh, we, we must also uh, read the, 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 the files that uh, the, the sellers uh, the send to us to, with, uh, in, in this case, for the KUKA robots, we can see for low uh, payloads what kind of robots they have. All the companies uh, provide this kind of information. High, high payloads, heavy payloads, everything is uh, well organized. And also if we choose this one, for instance, we can see this is a low payload. And the payload of this uh, cool case, uh, KR16, yeah. is the load of the robot. It's quite easy. This is 750, yeah. 1,000 kilos, and it's quite easy to understand in this in this kind of uh, robot. Also, what is the working envelope? Yeah. Okay, 1.61 uh, centimeters. This is the maximum reach of the robot. Other other other. Payloads and um, we can change also. We can yeah. increase one link. But are they are they like standards? Uh, yeah, this is the standards. Yeah, so every every yeah, manufacturer has a sixty yeah. kilo yeah. robot. Yeah. So yeah. otherwise they yeah. cannot compete with the others. Yeah, yeah, because it, yeah. Yeah, uh, of course, depending on the workspace, depending when when uh, we use one robot to pick some something, mm. we can create. Um, an algorithm very easy to find. Okay, I need this kind of robot because yeah. I want to move from this position to another. Yeah. I don't need more than this. Yeah. this. Yeah. And, and of course, if you are increasing the dimension, the payload, yeah. you you need better motors. You need a lot of things, and you are increasing the the price of everything. Yeah. Okay. You, you can also go a bit overboard like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> Another one, this is for instance the characteristic of this car is the, the precision, also the repeatability of the system. For instance, this is the KPR 10, 10 kilos, and this is the Z stroke uh, reachability, is 30 centimeters. And the workspace is 60 centimeters. And we have only four uh, axes, and this is the re repeatability and also the maximum speed, 8.8 .8 meters yeah. per second. For a scan, a robot is too much. Yeah. Uh, of course, if we look at the, the, the robot, of course, for the students, this is good accuracy and good repeatability. Yeah. This is good repeatability, but it's never <laughs> go to the center. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and of course, this is accurate, but it cannot repeat. And this is uh, so bad, it never. Uh, okay, <laughs> this is statistic. Uh, anyway, the idea is to to show to the students that we have this kind of uh, information in the in the robots. They should know how to choose what kind of for different applications, what kind of robots they they should uh, choose for for them. Also, uh, of course, there are a lot of uh, names that they should learn, uh, special uh, about the controllers, for instance. 
the Ashkava, now they develop this kind of controllers as a small box. Uh, a few years ago it was everything very big, but now if we, uh, it's like a computer uh, with uh, everything uh, mm -hmm. in, uh, identical as an uh, industrial computer uh, with a terminal uh, and also the, 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 the servo motors that control the, the, the manipulator. And here we can see also the, the in three dimensions what are the, the orientation of the, the flange of the robot for each angle. As we can see, all of these angles can be changed for giving our uh, Cartesian position. And we have six angles to give uh, three dimension position, of course with six dimensions because we are also changing the rotation, the, the orientation of the, the, ro the, of the robot. And this is, uh, this is a, an example that we do in our school because we have also the, uh, a cooker, a small one with six kilos, an ABB and a Yash cover, but we use also this corbot mm -hmm. and this robot uh, have only five rotational joints doesn't have six, yeah. that's, that's nice to see because it's different. And also it's open source. Yeah. You can use ACL language, advanced control language, yeah. to control the robot, uh, but we can get information very easily. Also we can put ROS and uh, get information for each motor and we can uh, do uh, the kinematics for the students. And with this kind of robot, in our uh, our students can easily determine the the the, the kinematics of the robot. Mm -hmm. Of course, they must do the calculation of all the dimensions of the robot. The idea is maybe for the master students trying to construct different robots. Yeah. Okay, but they can use these kind of robots to do the, the the construction. Also, they can put it in MATLAB. With MATLAB, they can develop. Uh, if they want to change anything, they can do it, and also uh, with the, the method to, to describe the kinematics, we use dynamic uh, It's an old method, but it's, it's quite good because they can easily obtain the, the mathematical model for different robots. Uh, this is the result of the, the kinematic model, uh, and with this, and with the, the size um, for each link and also the distance between the links, uh, we can easily construct the the Denavita Attenberg matrix for the position and orientation of the, the system. And here we can see because they, it is a chain of mm. of all the links, and when we change one position in one link, we are changing for the yeah, other. Yeah. Okay, which if we try to move first angle, the first joint, we're going to, to move all of them. And if the students can in, uh, use this kind of methodology and they can put it in the MATLAB to see uh, their uh, animated robot uh, to work. Even with the uh, uh, mobile robots we do that. Uh, and after that the, the students can easily go to um, to the, the lab and they can start working with the robot. Of course, they can change the, 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 the values of the, the joints. They can change also the orientation, configuration of the robot. And with this, we can uh, do the pick and place uh, assembly in, using MATLAB. And also, depending on the application, we need more, uh, for instance, the, the seven uh, link for moving the robot from one place to another. Or we can change the, the, the gripper of the robot. We, now we are using uh, print 3D, uh, print, uh, 3D uh, printers to, to, to do the, the grippers. And different objects we can print the gripper and we students can also uh, do what we, what you are doing over there 
with the FESTO controller and with the ABV controller, you have three different uh, grippers yeah. uh, and you change. Uh, instantly you change the, the gripper of the, of the rope. This is an example that they made, I don't know if, if, if it will, I, I, I must do this. Okay. This is an example that we made in MATLAB and also made in real. What we made, we made, a, we put a, a webcam, it's a simple webcam, and we obtained information where is the position of the pill yeah. over there, and of course the the color of the pill is is different from the the the. Table, yeah, table and he, but we can put a lot of pills and he can he, he grab uh, each one pick and put in some place. Okay, this is an example what students can do and they can learn with these examples and then they can change uh, different robots, different activities and this is uh, one of the great advantage. Robots they can increase product productivity. They are safe, efficient, they can guarantee some quality. Yesterday, the f the, it was a factory of food. Mm. And the most important is uh, hygienic process. Yes. They don't want people over there. And robots, they can do all the tasks. They can clean the robots and they, yeah. they can uh, do the same task without... Uh, and they are safe. And and they can provide for this company the, the hygiene, the correct hygiene to, to, to do this kind of work. They can work in arduous uh, environment mm. without safety concerns. They can continue working uh, without uh, experience fatigue. Mm. Uh, they, they are not bored. They can repeat yeah, the same repeat task the same. over and over. Uh, well, there, there are a lot of uh, mm. uh, examples of the advantage of the robot. Of course, there are also some disadvantages. First of all, robots replace humans. Well, that, this is create economy and social problems. Mm. But I think the government should also um, study this and apply some different tasks. Uh, robots cannot respond in emergencies situations okay maybe maybe in the future because we can put some uh, um, some artificial intelligence mm -hmm. and then then we can also um, put some learning devices and other sensors that can help the robots uh, maybe in the first part they will going to, to work slower mm -hmm. but they will going to start to work with uh, less limitations. Um, robots, they are superior. Uh, for instance, degrees of freedom, density, sensors, vision system. There are a lot of new technology that allows that to improve a lot of applications. Especially for, for food systems. Yeah. And especially hyperspectral cameras are a, a big thing because they can see a spoiled Food, for example, yeah. before a human can see. It's like, okay, you saw yesterday, you saw, in, it's important to have an X-ray yeah. sensor to detect any metal, if, because they are doing the butter. Yeah. Uh, if something go to the, to the, 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 the box with the butter, uh, it will be a problem for them. They, they, can, they must have sensors to yeah. uh, eliminate everything in, and to do everything perfect. Um, also, we can consider for the cost, like the initial cost of the equipment. Mm -hmm. Now it's, it's, we need maybe one hour to install a cobalt. Yeah. Uh, even for the industrial robots, now it's more easy. Yeah, because it's from a yeah. few years ago, it was very complex. Yeah, and expensive. It's very expensive. Now it's not so expensive. Mm -hmm. Now it's, uh, it's, it's more easy to, to do the account and compare the values. Okay, can we invest in a robot here? It's, we know what is the cost of everything. Okay, 
also if we need peripherals or if we need some uh, training uh, for programming the robot. Yeah. A few years ago there is nobody working in this yeah. field. Now there are a lot of people working. Quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Um, here we have the Jarm Armo is not here, but the, the six axes of the Kawasaki that we saw yesterday. Uh, what are the, the components of each road? Servo motors, rotor, controller, driver. Uh, and also, what are the types of the end effectors? Grippers, uh, pneumatic systems, uh, depending on the what we are doing. The idea is, okay, develop some uh, end effector to do uh, some specific task. Uh, also the actuators. When we look at the actuators, we can combine a lot of actuators, as you can see here. This is uh, a, a link that provides the movement of, this is the seven link that provides the, the, the movement of the robot from one place to, to another. But, Anyway, we have also here and here other actuators that in increase the joints and position of the robot to do something. And for that, we can also see that uh, some tools, they are in movement or, or the robot is, is doing some movement to, to perform some different tasks. Um, when we look at the actuators, they can be electrical or pneumatic or hydraulic, depending if we need to do some force, we have hydraulic. If it is, we have some risk of uh, fire, we do with pneumatic actuator. There are uh, uh, a lot of combination of these kind of uh, uh, actuators. Mm -hmm. And we can see all of them in the factories. Um, also, the, the advantage of having electrical uh, motors instead of uh, pneumatics. They are faster and they are accurate and they are uh, uh, sophisticated uh, and they are not expensive. This is the, some of the great, the great advantage. They have high torque, uh, reduced weight also, and they have a fast response. Anyway, uh, there are some disadvantages. When we are, have high speed, we have low torque. Yeah. That's a problem. <laughs> yeah. uh, also, we have the backlash limit uh, precision. Uh, the backlash is like uh, when we have something after, after some time doing this. It's like a, a typical for electrical uh, system. Uh, also, they, they could be inflammable, uh, depending on the when we use this kind of uh, motors. Um, they are, have the problem of heating. If we don't have controlling for the torque or something, uh, they will go into overheating. Uh, the brakes are need to lock them in position, also it's a problem. And when we are, when we are talking about pneumatic, uh, the, the disadvantage is the noise pollution, the leak of air, and it's the, the air is the energy to move. Uh, we, we need additional drying and filter uh, for the system. They are some difficult to control the speed of the, 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 our system. But of course, there are a lot of advantage. It's inexpensive, high speed. There is, we must combine everything for the tools that we want to develop uh, when we, when we use this kind of system. The hydraulic actuators also, we have some advantage or disadvantage. This is something that we should uh, analyze for choosing uh, the right actuator. Also for the sensors, who typical, now we are using uh, cameras to obtain the position of the object that we want to pick. A uh, few years ago, we have sensors or we have some mechanical device that put all the objects that we pick in the same place. And all the movements are going to be in that, in that place. Uh, now, with the, this new technology, 
we can integrate this new technology in, the, in our system and we can uh, obtain, uh, for instance, the, the image or the, the, some positions of the object that we want to manipulate and then we can determine the pose of the robot. And this is the configuration. We can see over, uh, even in, the, in your lab, we have the object, uh, the student want to capture this object, the belt is moving, the object. We know the speed, the camera uh, obtained the, uh, for each frame the different position of uh, the object. We calculate the new position and then we can easily uh, get information and take the, the object from the working range of the robot to the table, okay? And this is typical what we are doing. Also, if we look at in the, in the company, uh, they have vision system in a lot of places. The idea is to obtain information, and if some error occurs in the line, uh, they can uh, they can be faster to correct this problem and at the same time the robots get, get information from everywhere and they can uh, easily perform this task using this kind of devices. Um, this integration uh, of the tools uh, allows a lot of things. Uh, we can increase the performance of our system using, uh, also we can plan better all the trajectories, we can improve the efficiency. Well, uh, to do that, typically we use uh, some software. Uh, more and more, the, even the, the companies, for instance, KUKA, this is the KUKA simulator, the old, old version, because I have now the, the new version of KUKA mm -hmm. simulator. It's fantastic, it's similar to ABD. Yeah. It's com they change everything. And it's, 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 for me now, is the best simulator. Yeah. Uh, because we can do everything in the simulator. We can uh, upload all the files, 3D files. Uh, we can put a lot of robots. We can compile all the code. We can do everything. And after we've made the, 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 the software using the simulator, we can download in the robot and it's, it's working immediately and well we can we can use of course um, teach mode okay using the teach patent and with the teach mode you can program the positions and you can you can define what are the location and orientation and then you can do your movements point to point or uh, whatever but the, the idea that I want to transmit to students, trying to do everything with the simulator, mm -hmm. trying to pick one position as the, the reference position, and with that, re, uh, put the reference of the other position to this one. Mm -hmm. Because if we correct this position, all of them are correct. Mm -hmm. And we go to the company, okay, let me see, this position is this one, correct, and then, all the software is, is done. Um, well, with these um, modes of program, uh, our uh, simulator, we can we can also improve uh, and validate our, our our work. We can do the task definition, what we want to do. Also, in the work cell with different robots, what is the sequence? Uh, then we do the offline program and in the end we do the execution of the program, okay? This is with the robot program uh, native language to then the, the validation and uh, to start with the definition and 